cutscene you guys ah <laughs> uh, so well who the fuck are those guys right <laughs> well huh I guess we'll be okay guess they've got a little ways to go come on horsey let's go let's go take on this Colossus yeah Again, I apologize for taking so long to get to this game. I am... I am just lame like that. <clears throat> Let's... I hope I remember how to play. <laughs> but what else is new? Right? Alright, um... Let's see. Topic, topic. I've been kind of busy... Kitty, what are you doing? Don't, don't unplug. Don't unplug it. Okay. <laughs> I've been kind of busy lately because I'm actually working on getting a paper done. Uh, uh, paper done on my research, and I'm going to try and submit it to a conference, a computer science conference, actually. And, um, yeah, that's kind of got my uh, brain all scrambled. I don't know if I'm going the right way. <laughs> uh, yeah, working on a paper putting all my thoughts together coherently, that's the hardest part about it. <laughs> but, uh, things are going well. So, um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about my research while we try and get through this goddamn forest. Um, so I don't know if anyone out there, any of my little internet friends that are watching this, uh, yeah. this way? <laughs> how, do I, how do I get out of this goddamn forest? Did I get turned around? I did. Okay. Uh, no, not the tree. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys out there know anything about... Is that a link? Yep, that is. About uh, procedural generation. But procedural generation is really cool. Yeah. It's kind of like one of my favorite topics. Yeah. So I'm doing some research in it. 
basically, um, procedural generation, uh, let's see, let's see, I'm gonna try and put this as simply as possible. Um, basically, you develop a computer program, I'm going the right way, okay, okay, uh, you develop a computer program that, uh, that, uh, given, like, a set of, uh, inputs... Oh! Fuck. <laughs> given a set of inputs... Yeah. Let's go save that thing. See if there's a lizard. Given a set of inputs and a, uh, random number that it would be the random seed, it generates a, uh, it generates content... Yeah. Oh, 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 is that the lizard? It generates content for you. Such as you can do procedurally generated trees or uh, procedurally generated like textures, like the grass could be a procedural. I don't even know if that's the right lizard. Like the grass on the ground, usually it's a texture map, but if you gave it a uh, procedural function, it would be able to come up. That's not a right lizard. It would be able to come up with a unique. Uh, grass template, pretty much. And you wouldn't have to store anything, because it's all based on a function, rather than a uh, saved image. So procedural generation is pretty nifty. Is there even a lizard here? So, uh... So that's what procedural generation is. So, there's lots of applications to it, especially now, because computers are finally uh, fast enough to actually apply pr procedural generation to some things. Like, I don't know if anyone's ever played a uh, Cannibalt, but, uh, let's... let's come, let, nope. <laughs> Damn. I want to save. No. There we go. Uh, if anyone's ever played a Cannibalt, uh, Cannibalt uses procedural generation. Um... To, uh, generate the, uh, level that you run on, so it's unique every single time. Um, another game that used to do it was, if anyone ever played Diablo, uh, that one had, uh, procedural generated levels, so, so that every time you played the game, it was different. So that was cool. And, um, Left 4 Dead has a little bit of it, too. Left 4 Dead... Oh! Left 4 Dead uh, has the AI director. Uh, you can Google that, it's on Wiki. 